And as that Piers said there about the Ronaldo's comeback because the facility is not great and he, he has to speak out, but the, 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 the facilities at United, okay, they might not be like Spurs who are brand new or Leicester's, but listen, they're still going to be state of the art. And it's, they're changing them, by the way. They're, they're still going to be decent. Should we go to the phone lines? 03717 Kenny wants to defend Ronaldo. Hello, Ken. <laughs> Hi, Andy. I feel like I've walked into the line then. Well, no, but, listen. Listen, let, people can have their say. Listen, I'm not I'm not I'm on not on to condone everything that Ronaldo's done. I do disagree with some of the stuff. But apparently it's open season on Ronaldo just now. He's got every man in his dog publicly criticizing him. Yeah, but who's who's but, hold on, Kenny? It's open season because he's doing sit down interviews with Piers Morgan. Yes, but that was just what I was about to say, Andy. Uh, at, at the moment, it, you know, he has a line of recourse to publicly defend himself. And the moment he does this uproar, we criticise players for being boring in interviews and towing the party line. As soon as someone steps up and gives his version of the truth, and it's not all media uh, protected, he gets criticised for it. He should have a right to defend himself. Everyone's got an opinion on him. Some ex-colleagues... No, but hold on, hold on, Kenny, hold on, hold on. My problem with it is, his problem is that he's not getting picked. Yes. Right? Well, that's not that's, that's not a lack of respect. That's the manager's prerogative. Yes, and I agree with that. But I, I think what's happened, Andy, is he, he's been in and out the team, in and out the team. Now, if anybody is is, is short of lack uh, match practice, it shows in their performance. He needs a run of games. He gets two games, twenty minutes, another two yeah, games. But, but, yeah, but, but, but Kenny, then. Kenny, if he't not performing, the manager just can't simply st- simply stick with him because he's Ronaldo. He's got to do what's best for the team. And if you look at some of United's biggest um, performances this season, best performances, unfortunately, they've been without Ronaldo. So how do you just fit him in for the sake of it? I, I wouldn't fit him in for the sake of it. I, I'd give him, I'd give him a run of games. But Kenny, let I me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let's say he was in unbelievable form, and every time he took to the field, he scored. Yes. If the manager doesn't want to pick him, that's what the manager gets paid for. Yeah, and I, I, I know that. I'm actually, and believe it or not, I'm a Ten Hag fan. He came in and needed to have a strong hand. I just think sometimes, is he, is he trying to show his strength publicly by doing this to Ronaldo? He could do all this in the dressing room. Like the, the thing about not so could Ronaldo. So and, could Ronaldo. See, my, thanks for your call, Ken. I want to rattle through as many as I can. He could do it in the dressing room, hmm. but Ronaldo didn't. He do, did it on sorry, do you remember the uproar when Lukaku did the same thing? Yeah. There was uproar. I don't think I heard one person say he should play for Chelsea again. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. All right, let's go to Duncan, a Man United fan. Hi, Duncan. Hi, hey, Andy. All right, mate. I'm good, man. How are you today? I'm not too bad, fella. Not too bad. Off you go. Um, that last quarter there was a little bit... Ronaldo has done wrong. He's not been disrespected by Tanag. He said he was ill for Thursday's game. He didn't pick him. He didn't pick him yesterday because he might not have been well enough to play. He gave him the captain armbands last week against Villa. Played like an idiot. He's got to put, he's got to show commitment to the club. When he came back to United, he knew what the stadium were like. He knew what our training ground were like. Get on with it, mate. Yeah. You paid X amount of million to, uh, millions a year to play football. You're not doing it. You've disrespect. He said he loves the fans and he loves the club. He's disrespected every single fan and the club continuously. The Glazers aren't doing the job, but to disrespect the club and the supporters and Tanag like this, he's got to go. He should just he should just resign and just stand his noticing like every other one, anybody else would in the job. Okay, thanks, thanks. I don't. I mean, I'm guessing on he's, half a million pound a week, he's not going to throw that away. He makes a really good point in Duncan because I didn't, I didn't hear that noise last season when he was smashing the goals in the yeah. front centre about the facilities and all that. That's a very good point. That's a very good so point. So now he's not playing, now the facilities, now all of a sudden they're a problem. Yeah. Good point. Luke's up next. Hi, Luke. Hi, are you all right? I'm great. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad. I woke up this morning thinking, oh, here we go again, another saga at Man United. Um, it just always just seems to be something going on at the club. Um, and, you know, when Ronaldo signed, I was a little bit unsure whether or not we signed him for the right reason. You know, were we signing him so he didn't go to Man City? Uh, there's no denying his ability and what he's achieved in his career, but... I think to go on an interview with Piers Morgan and completely slander the club, you know, I think he needs to, you know, do it in the right manner. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. So I don't really agree with the way that he's sort of backstabbed Ten Hag. Mm. Um, I think that sort of him in the decline of his career, maybe possibly throwing his toys out the pram. Mm. He's not the main man there, possibly. I don't know. But like the previous caller said, he knew about the ground and whatnot beforehand last mm. season. So, you know, you just think, 
and the same go back go back to the Tottenham game. You know, we were playing really well, got a good result, and then he storms off down the tunnel. And then we get a last minute win last night from young guy that deserves a lot of credit. But again, it's been overshadowed by Ronaldo. Yeah. It just seems to be it just always seems to be about Ronaldo. That's that's, that's the really thing that's the thing though, Luke. Is that it, it is always about Ronaldo. They they got the result last night, Garnacho. That's a really nice story. Youngster coming in first Premier League goal. Really good goal. But we're here talking about Ronaldo. We're not even talking about United's performance. But as I said, the facilities have been there. For, we've heard that many players, ex pros associated with Manchester United, talk about the stadiums falling apart, the training grounds not up to scratch. But it wasn't a problem last season when he was smashing them in. But to say a manager doesn't respect you just because simply he's not picking you, that's not a sign of respect. Mm. Every single footballer at some stage has to go through that. Like, where unfortunately you're not the main man anymore so you're going to have to move over a little bit because I think for the best what's best for the team is that we're going to go this direction you can't then all of a sudden go I don't respect the manager because he doesn't respect me no he probably does respect you but at the same time you're showing him none by doing this interview 